So in this section, we'd like to dive a little bit deeper and take a look at expand faders and also track layouts. Track layouts are some of the most powerful uh, organizational tools that you have on the S6. It allows you to take any tracks from multiple workstations, even multiple DAWs, bring them together and put them in a collection uh, we call a layout and bring it up either on the desk or within those multiple zones that we defined previously within the spill zone. So hugely, hugely powerful feature that um, uh, we want to take a look at in this particular section. So we've brought, um, we've jumped to the, the bridge section of the song. Uh, we have our VCAs on the left side once again. We're going to just solo it up real quick and play back um, uh, just the lead vocals and we'll do the same, you know, kind of auto spill in of those leads and uh, we can hear the Vox bridge is actually quite right here. We've got some various different processing on there. There's, um, there's a delay, there's some um, there's some reverbs, um, you know, all kinds of stuff going on on there. And we're currently looking at those members of the lead vocal group controlled by the lead vocal VCA and they're living in send mode. So I can see all the effect sends for the different effects treatments on those tracks. Okay, that's great. So what I think would be beneficial and useful, and this will be great to show uh, the track layouts, is to, to create a collection, a layout, that's composed of all the primary effects returns, whether you're using delays, reverb, saturation, whatever you're using uh, to treat your primary vocals um, and being able to access that quickly. And the layout can do that for us. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So I'm going to close my zones. I'm going to just get out of all the zones. Right. So again, shift left spill, shift right spill to close all of my zones. And now let's actually go look at creating a layout. And this is very, very powerful. So what we're going to do is we're back at the tracks page. If you were at the home page that we talked about previously, we're going to go, you know, have you go back to tracks. And from there, we want to press the assign button. The assign button takes you into an assignment mode where we can actually start taking a source track from the top grid and bringing it down to the bottom. So we're going to explain this. We're going to uh, clear any tracks that may happen to be in the layout currently. To do that, I'm going to hold down Shift, and I'm just going to do a clear all. It's a great way to start if you have things that you don't, uh, that you want to get rid of quickly. There is nothing on our destination faders of my 16 fader console. All my source tracks are at the top, which means I'm literally going to touch tracks at the top and then touch the destinations at the bottom to determine exactly where I want those, in this case, effects returns. So I've got a lot of tracks, as you can see. I've done some color coding. That's still going to make it relatively challenging for me to figure out what I want. So I'm going to use, I'm going to leverage track filtering to help me find what I need. So I know I did some color coding. I've got yellow things uh, representing effects returns. However, if I simply go up to my, uh, my filtering here, VCAs, all, audio, aux, now I've only got the aux tracks. That's exactly what I want. Now I can find the pieces that I really need, and that's really what I, what I want to do here. So I'm going to go, we're going to do uh, some, um, I'm going to grab this delay. We're going to grab this particular reverb. Uh, we're going to grab these two guys and then touch uh, the destination track one, and you can see they just showed up down on the actual console. That's great. Um, now, I just noticed that the bridge delay and the uh, bridge pre uh, verb, those are really the things I want. You know what? I'd really like to have those first, and I just put them in the wrong order, but uh, not to fear. I can just pop into insert mode and then basically touch those two and go back to one. Everybody else gets shuffled down that's a better organizational structure for me. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Um, and let's actually just add one more here. I'm going to add the fab verb. We'll put that at the front. So we have that, and then we have our delay and our pre. OK, now before we save this layout, I'm actually going to change the view on the individual channel strips. It'll help me see what plugins are being used on those effects returns. To do that, I'm going to press the All key. The All switch is a way to change all the function views on all your channel strips simultaneously. So I'm going to come up to any of my, since I'm in all group, I can do it on any track. Just press insert, right? Insert is show me top level inserts on all the tracks. Great. Now, if we look at our display modules, I see, um, I see repeater. I see Val Valhalla uh, plate. I see the EC300 from McDSP. I see all the chain of processing, and that's exactly what I want to see. Great. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to store the layout. <clears throat> so to do this, I simply uh, touch store at the bottom. 
up comes a grid, and that grid allows me to, um, to just name and to locate any of the layouts within this group. I'm actually going to overwrite, let's actually just overwrite this previous Vox that I did. And this one, we're actually going to call this uh, yeah, uh, effects Vox B. I think that's actually going to work. Hit store, boom. Now that layout is stored. And I want to, before we actually go forward and actually look at what's in there and take it a step further, let's talk about actually saving your data. This is really important. So if we actually go to settings, and we've been looking at user settings primarily, let's actually go and look at system settings. This is actually quite important. So there's this auto load from titles and sessions. And this says, basically, when I save the Pro Tools session, I want to also save layouts and meters, post layouts, expand faders, strips, user preferences, whatever you want to save, but you have to enable it in this area such that it will travel back to Pro Tools. Now, the other thing that's really important is if we, if we press the, uh, the workstation page, right? You can get there with Shift Workstation. I need to make sure that there's a blue star next to Pro Tools. And that says Pro Tools is the application, or if your other DAW is Logic, make sure that that application DAW has been chosen with the blue star so that those, um, those data types, those layouts, are going to travel back to it. So in this case, I'm running Pro Tools 2018.4, and that's what I've chosen. That's where all my data is stored. That's really important. Okay. Now, let's actually go and um, just get out of these views that we have here. Okay, we're back to just standard banking view. Now, we talked about spill zones earlier, right? And spill zones, up until now, we've primarily been doing this, okay, write zone, track type, VCA. And then we've got VCA, so let's go back to our lead vocals. Great, there's our lead vocals, right? We've been doing that a lot. Now that I've got layouts, I've got another kind of type of view that I can bring up. So, hey, you know what? I'd like to actually, let's keep the lead vocals over here. Let's uh, maybe say, I'm going to look at the sends, because I want to see what I'm sending to for those delays and reverbs. And then over here, what if we bring up the layout in a zone? So I'm going to go back to the left zone, and I'm going to touch layouts. I see all my different layouts that I've created, some previous ones. And the new one that we just worked on was effects, uh, effects Vox B. I'm going to press that. Boom. So now, check it out. I've got all of my, and the blue color coding means that you're looking at a layout. So I've got all of my uh, effects returns that I really care about, and that includes the Valhalla plate and the repeater delay that I'm feeding to with my vocal over here. So let me hit play, and there's the Vox bridge. I'm sending and pushing into, um, you know, there's the, there's the Valhalla plate. I'm going to push into it really hard, right? So let's actually go look at that first and actually talk about controlling it in a more logical way.